to overcome the crass demands of flesh and bone, for they warp the matrix through which we perceive the world. Extend your awareness outward, beyond the self of body, to embrace the self of group and the self of humanity. The goals of the group and the greater race are transcendent, and to embrace them is to achieve enlightenment. Chairman Shen Jiang, SS on Mind and Matter. It is every citizen's final duty to go into the tanks and become one with all the people. Chairman Shen Jiang, Ethics for Tomorrow. My gift to industry is the genetically engineered worker or gene jack, specially designed for labor. The gene jack's muscles and nerves are ideal for his task, and the cerebral cortex has been atrophied so that he can desire nothing except to perform his duties. Tyranny, you say? How can you tyrannize someone who cannot feel pain? Chairman Shen Jiang. SS on mind and matter. We hold life to be sacred, but we also know the foundation of life consists of a stream of codes, not so different from the successive frames of a watch vid. Why then cannot we cut one code short here and start another there? Is life so fragile that it can withstand no tempering? Does the sacred brook no improvement? Chairman Shen Jiang, Dynamics of Mind. I maintain nonetheless that yin yang dualism can be overcome. With sufficient enlightenment, we can give substance to any distinction. Mind without body, north without south, pleasure without pain. Remember, Enlightenment is a function of willpower, not of physical strength. Chairman Shen Jiang, SS on Mind and Matter. Technological advance is an inherently iterative process. One does not simply take sand from the beach and produce a data probe. We use crude tools to fashion better tools, and then our better tools to fashion more precise tools, and so on. Each minor refinement is a step in the process, and all of the steps must be taken. Chairman Shen Jiang, looking God in the eye. Einstein would turn over in his grave. Not only does God play dice, the dice are loaded. Chairman Shen Jiang, looking God in the eye. If our society seems more nihilistic than that of previous eras, perhaps this is simply a sign of our maturity as a sentient species. As our collective consciousness expands beyond a crucial point, we are at last ready to accept life's fundamental truth that life's only purpose is life itself. Chairman Shen Jiang, looking God in the eye. Why do you insist that the human genetic code is sacred or taboo? It is a chemical process and nothing more. For that matter, we are chemical processes and nothing more. If you deny yourself a useful tool simply because it reminds you uncomfortably of your mortality, you have uselessly and pointlessly crippled yourself. Chairman Shen Jiang, looking God in the eye.